The Bloom's Digital Taxonomy Model is a revised model of teaching created by the students of Bloom, Lauren Anderson and David Crathwall. In this model, there are six stages of student learning. Remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating. First step is remembering. It means retrieving, recalling, or recognizing knowledge from memory. Remembering is when memory is used to produce definitions, facts or lists, or recite or retrieve material. In a hypothetical art classroom, this would be exemplified by using an app on a tablet, phone, or website that creates flashcards to memorize and learn the elements and principles of design. The second step is understanding, which means constructing meaning from different types of functions, be they written or graphic. This would be exemplified by students keeping a blog to write in for each project, explaining how they will achieve their outcome. For example, what lighting they might use, camera settings, elements of design, etc. The third step is applying, which is carrying out or using a procedure through executing or implementing. Applying relates and refers to situations where learned material is used through products like models, presentation, interviews, and simulations. An example of this would be for each project students do, they would have to utilize the elements and principles of design that they learned from the first part of the unit. This shows that they don't just know the terms and definitions, but they know how to apply them as well. The next step would be analyzing, which means breaking material or concepts into parts, determining how the parts relate or interrelate to one another or to an overall structure or purpose. Mental actions include differentiating, organizing, and attributing, as well as being able to distinguish between components. Students in this case would create an instructional video tutorial on how to achieve a successful photo using one of the elements or principles of design. They would explain each step and consider any problems the viewer might have. They would also provide many original examples. Afterwards, the videos will be posted to YouTube for others to utilize. The fifth step would be evaluating, which is making judgments based on criteria and standards through checking and critiquing. An example of how to do this in our hypothetical art classroom would be using a class website so that students can post and comment on each other's artwork. While commenting, they should use proper critique terminology such as the elements and principles of design that were covered before. The final step is creating, which is putting the elements together to form a coherent or functional whole reorganizing elements into a new pattern or structure through generating, planning, or producing. As a final project, students will be asked to take more than one element or principle of design and use them in the same photo. This will create a challenge but force students to think in a more complex way about how they are taking photos. It will even call for some planning before just snapping a photograph. So, no matter what subject you are teaching, these are some steps to keep in mind when using technology in your classroom.